The question of whether Neanderthals had language is crucial in understanding the evolution of human communication. While some argue that language is unique to anatomically modern humans, others suggest the presence of a proto-language among earlier humans such as Neanderthals. Welcome to Anthromedia. This video focuses on recent findings on the language origins of Neanderthals. The debate on whether Neanderthals had language hinges on varying conceptions of language itself. Language is a complex system of communication that involves the use of symbols, such as words or gestures, to convey meaning. Syntax implies language is structured rather than a random arrangement of words. The most basic language could be just one word, without complex sentence structures. Imagine a simple language where each word represents a single idea, similar to how toddlers first start talking. This minimal language would have basic meaning but no complicated rules for putting words together. While some animals like vervet monkeys have communication systems with single meaningful sounds. This isn't considered a language. The key difference is that a real language is flexible and can easily adapt to new meanings. Each word in a language acts like a symbol that can represent various things. People often think of speech as the same as language, but they're not identical. Speech is how we express language through sound, like talking. However, language itself can exist in various forms, not just through speaking. For instance, we can use sign language or communicate through writing. Human language isn't tied to a specific way of expressing it. We can use spoken words, sign language, or even written words. This means having language doesn't necessarily mean having speech, and the absence of language doesn't mean the absence of speech. Speech involves putting together different sounds rapidly to create a wide range of expressions. This requires a vocal system that can make distinct sounds quickly and precisely. Some suggest that language may have initially been an internal system without any external expression. However, this idea faces challenges. While it's hard to prove whether Neanderthals had speech, it's even more challenging to determine if they had an internal language without any external signs like sounds or gestures internal language or private speech, which you employ when thinking alone. In simpler terms, figuring out how early humans communicated is tricky. Some think it started with one-word ideas, while others question whether there was any sound involved at all. Understanding Neanderthal communication is challenging, because we don't have clear evidence of their speech or internal language. Understanding Neanderthal language involves putting together evidence from different areas like anatomy, genetics and archaeology. It's like solving a puzzle even without having all the pieces. Determining how Neanderthals communicated is challenging, especially since soft tissue isn't preserved in fossils. However, clues from bones around the vocal tract and hearing organs can offer insights. Neanderthal vocal tracts might have been adapted for speech, but it is debated. The shape of the vocal tract influences speech. Human vocal tracts have a lowered larynx, allowing a variety of sounds. Neanderthals likely had varied vocal tract shapes, but it's uncertain how this affected their speech. The hyoid bone, which floats in the neck without directly connecting to other bones, plays a crucial role in speech and swallowing, but is rarely preserved as fossils. Neanderthal hyoid bone was discovered in the Kibera cave in Israel. The researchers suggested that the Neanderthal hyoid bone was similar in shape to that of modern humans, implying potential similarities in their vocal capabilities. Human ears are sensitive to speech sounds. Neanderthal middle ear bones suggest hearing adaptations similar to modern humans, hinting they might have produced speech-like sounds. Nerves don't fossilize, but holes in bones where nerves pass through can be observed. The size of these nerve holes isn't a clear indicator of speech. However, the breathing control canal shows interesting patterns. Neanderthals had wider canals like modern humans, suggesting potential speech-related breathing control to figure out if Neanderthals had language, scientists looked at their brains. Neanderthal brains were a bit bigger than ours but had a different shape, lower and longer. Our rounder brain shape might help with better connections between different parts. Possibly linked to language but this isn't proven. Certain brain areas connected to language in humans like Broca's and Wernicke's areas were similar in Neanderthals and humans. However, these areas also exist in non-human primates so it's not a clear answer. Some researchers look at mirror neurons related to imitation and von Economo neurons for language clues, but they're found in non-human primates too. 
Humans show dominance in using one hand, called handedness, and Neanderthals seem to share this pattern, suggesting a human-like way of processing tasks. A recent study comparing Neanderthal and early Homo sapiens brains found Neanderthals had smaller cerebellums, especially on the right side, impacting language processing. Early modern humans had larger cerebellums, this asymmetry in Neanderthals might have affected connections crucial for language. Looking at Neanderthal, anatomy doesn't definitively say language or rule it out. There are signs pointing to speech adaptations, but no single piece of evidence is enough. Considering all these signs together, scientists think Neanderthals probably had some form of speech. By studying DNA extracted from Neanderthal fossils, scientists are finding clues about their language abilities. Modern humans have many genes that influence language skills. One well-known gene is FOXP2, often linked to language. However, it's not a straightforward language gene. FOXP2 is found in most mammals, but humans have unique changes. Neanderthals and Denisovans also had these changes, suggesting they might have had language too. The Neanderthal and Denisovan versions of FOXP2 indicate that these genetic changes predate the split between modern humans and Neanderthals, supporting the idea that Neanderthals may have had language. Beyond FOX2, other genetic differences related to brain development exist between modern humans, Neanderthals and Denisovans. Some scientists suggest that extended synaptic development in humans, influenced by genes like MEF2A, might be important for cognitive abilities. However, whether these genes specifically relate to language remains uncertain. Recent studies have shown that there was interbreeding between Neanderthals and non-African modern humans, Many of us today carry a small percentage of Neanderthal DNA. The gene flow from Neanderthals to modern humans implies successful reproduction between the two groups. This suggests that hybrid offspring carrying both Neanderthal and modern human DNA likely had fully functioning language abilities. For hybrids to thrive in a community of modern humans, having language would be crucial. It's unlikely that individuals without language could achieve reproductive success in a community where communication and social bonds are essential. The hybrid offspring probably inherited the right genetic factors for language from both Neanderthal and modern human sides. In a society with long-term pair bonds requiring social acceptance, Neanderthal language abilities would have been necessary. However, if hybrids resulted from chance encounters in the forest, the need for language might be less clear. Despite differences in the archaeological records, evidence for Neanderthal symbolism challenges a clear divide between symbolic modern humans and symbol-less Neanderthals, including the absence of Neanderthal language. Evidence reveals complex traits associated with behavioral modernity in Neanderthals. Pigments found in Neanderthal sites used for body painting hint at symbolic behavior. Evidence of intentional Neanderthal burials suggests an understanding of morality or spirituality. While no cave paintings are conclusively attributed to Neanderthals, artifacts like painted shells, beads, and feathers suggest symbolism. Neanderthals exhibited complex behaviors, including fire use, tool hafting, and seafaring. Neanderthals demonstrated the ability to make strings and use various technologies involving knots, Living space organization among Neanderthals mirrors patterns observed in contemporary modern humans, suggesting similarities in cognitive aspects. Fauna exploitation patterns show a diverse Neanderthal diet. In summary, Neanderthals likely possessed some form of spoken language. However, the specifics of Neanderthal language abilities, especially syntactic aspects, remain uncertain. The intriguing question of whether Neanderthals are considered us given their coexistence and interbreeding remains emphasizing the exciting possibilities of exploring unique language faculties. Even though accessing Neanderthal languages is forever lost with their extinction,